All right, everyone, welcome to uh, Kitchen Table TCG. Today, we're gonna talk about play mats. Uh, I got a big shipment of play mats in from Singapore. We're gonna talk about the official play mat tracker, uh, and we're gonna look at somebody's play mat that they sent me, and we're gonna see if it's authentic because they're very concerned about it, uh, and I think there is some stuff to be concerned about. So uh, let's, let's do a whole discussion here on play mats. A, this is the Kitchen Table TCG play mat. You know, if you want one, they're at uh, cavdansmarket.com. All right, let's look at the play mats that I got. Uh, these all came from Aaron in Singapore. Sig Singapore. Singapore? Boom. I'm working on a complete collection of the play mat. So this is official from uh, LSS. This will actually be on our collection tracker 2.0 for patrons. Um, so th this is my, <laughs> I'm working on getting one of everyone. Uh, so I just picked up a Torrent of Tempo. That'll be here next week. I have not gotten the slingshot slingshot underground i don't have an ira i don't have an alpha rampage uh, art of war edge of autumn mask momentum Gorgonian tome i haven't gotten that locally yet uh and uh doomsday i'm so in on that i won celestial cataclysm at my so we're, we're working on and, and these are already added to this thing so i wanted to to share my play mat experience a little bit uh picked up a calling and i want to have a conversation about play mats because uh we're going to get into talking about the scar for scar play mat and is there some fake ones going around because i think there are um all right so i, I picked up a calling you know that's that's pretty cool from the calling in um in Auckland 2021. I usually don't like playmats that have these um things on it because like I wasn't actually there uh, and you know it's you know for magic I, I never liked those. Uh, but for flesh and blood it's just different. I don't know why. For whatever reason I love playmats in flesh and blood and there's a, a collectible market for for playmats in flesh and blood. And I think part of the reason of that is because they are so difficult to get. You have to win them. Uh, or you have to purchase them from somebody who won them, uh, and I love that. I do think eventually they are going to offer some playmats for sale, um, but I don't think that will hurt the value of the playmats. I don't think that they would reprint these ones as they've done, uh, you know, as prize support. I don't, I don't see LSS doing that. So beautiful calling playmat, absolutely gorgeous. Uh, cannot wait to hang these on the wall. All right, and now we have a scarf for scar mat. All right, so uh, we'll we'll do scarf for scar at the end because um, this is a scarf for scar mat that came from Singapore. This is a scar for scar mat in here that uh, the buyer uh, thinks that it's fake uh, and that came from overseas. And then this is a scar for scar mat that I got from the United States. So we're going to compare all three of them uh, and see uh, see some differences and some similarities and compare uh, some stuff. So uh, we'll do that here at the end. So I'm going to put the one that I got from Singapore right there. The monastery. So this mat is so hard to get. This is really the the biggest reason that I, I picked up uh, these play mats from Singapore. Uh, I, I traded some some Monarch first edition for these, um, you know, because I just, man, I needed this. Uh, this one is probably close to the rarity of the Enlightened Strike mat that, of course, LSS sent me mine, which I'm very thankful for. Uh, but this is a judge, you know, judge promo. So the E-Strike mat, where is that? Uh, Lightning Strike Matt is the 2019 Judge promo, and this, the Monastery, is the 2020 Judge promo. I don't think we have a 2021 Judge promo yet, um, but uh, this is like, you know, you had to be a, had to be a judge to get it, uh, so there's very few of them. Uh, it's hard to find. Uh, this was the whole reason that I did this deal, uh, because I just, man, like, <laughs> this is so cool, and with um, with Monarch out and being so focused on the, the Monastery, uh, I just, man, like the artwork is so good. Like it looks like you're there. I cannot wait. That one, first off, uh, a lot of people are going to say, Louie, why don't you have um, play mat protectors, like the, the ultra pro top loaders. And here's the thing, like my play mats are for my videos. Like I want cool backgrounds, you know, I, I, cards are cool, but uh, I think the full art looks really cool for the play mats. And um, the, 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 they just don't pop up as well on, uh, if they're in top loaders. So it is what it is. Uh, yeah, they could be protected better, but it's just dust. They're on my wall. Um, and those mats that I, those things that I have are, are kind of really light pressure. So I'm not worried about it. All right. Toma Fiendo. So this one, Toma Fiendo, what was this from? I don't even remember. Uh, that was the, oh, oh, that was the calling Auckland. Oh, cool. I didn't even know that. Uh, cool. So that was from the calling in Auckland, uh, 2020. Uh, so, you know, similar, some rarity to the, uh, the calling mat, I guess. Um, sorry to the, uh, oh my gosh, what's the name of that one? The, the new calling mat that I just showed you. 
Uh, Sig Joel of Solace. I'm an idiot. All right, so, uh, so Toma Fiendel. Oh, man, so cool. What a great mat. I love, I love it. Uh, and then I picked up a, a high octane. So these are the, these are the ones that are from the, um, the armory kits. Uh, and the armory event ones, uh, are, are typically sitting at like one, they used to be sitting at like 125. Now they typically get around $200 each, um, as the player base has grown. Um, I think that some, I think that if you go back to the like WTR ones, those ones would probably be more rare. You know, I'm talking like, um, so what are those ones? The Showtime, the Lord of Wind, the Glint, the Quicksilver. Um, those ones were probably a little bit more rare as they had less armories. Uh, you know, in season two, they had more armory kits probably because they had more, more LGSs. And then I think down here, season three and onward, the, there'll just be more of them. That being said, there will also be more player base. Um, but, you know, there's still more player base with they had less play mats. So I do think that these uh, were, were potentially under, you know, less printed than the, the more recent ones. Um, so, yeah. All right. So let's go ahead and pull through and talk about um, authentication of play mats. And we've done this before. We, we did this with a, a Fandel Spring Tunic play mat that, uh, that I purchased on uh, or sorry, I, I had gotten from a reliable source and then somebody got one that looked fake and we looked at it and there was a lot of things that were wrong with it. Uh, and so let's take a look at, this is the scar for scar mat that I just got from Singapore, right? This right here. So I'm going to put this, uh, this little piece of paper on it right here. I'm going to put this little piece of paper on it right here. This is the, this is the one I just got from, from Singapore. Uh, and then I'm going to put, uh, this one over top of it right here. Oop, this is the one that I got from the United States from somebody who won one. Uh, and you can see they are exactly, let's make sure. They are about the same size. Uh, maybe a little smaller, maybe a little smaller. Let's put them on the, on the other side. Uh, I, I want to highlight though, um, the, the clarity of the logo is important. Uh, let's see if you can see that. The clarity of the logo is important. You can see it's it's just very clear. Can I zoom in more? Boom. It's just very clear. Um, there's there's no like uh you know like uh blurriness in the logo. The the same thing is true over here. Both logos are very clear. Um, kind of the Legend Story Studios part of it uh is very clear. Okay, let's back you out now. Let's look at the size of the mats, because that's another thing that I look for. And then we're gonna look at this one that we think is uh, potentially not authentic. So uh, this top one was USA. The bottom one was, was received from Singapore. Boom, boom, boom. Uh, let's see the, the size here. And this is a little difficult to do because, you know, they are, it is neoprene, it is a play mat, so it is kind of stretchy. So I'm doing my best to, to just make it not stretch at all. And you can see, I mean, maybe, I would say these are the same size. Yeah, they, I mean, they're the same size. I'll show you what I'm talking about, okay? Because I've already looked at the other one, compared it. I've already compared the other one to um, to my playmat, so the one from the USA, this one. But I wanted to compare it to the one from Singapore. So this top one is the one from Singapore. The bottom one is from USA. And maybe the top one is is a complete hairline. It's the same size, guys. Compared to the other one. All right. So now let's, uh, let's bring out this other one, right? So. First off, anytime I get a play mat and it's in something like this, I get a little worried. And let me tell you why. I mean, they may put it in this, but some of the play mats that you buy from uh, some of the, like, play mat, like, custom play mats, put them in these. So I get a little worried anytime I get a play mat in one of those. Um, but, I mean, I get it. You could also put one in there. So let's compare, okay? First of all, this mat, notice anything? You probably can't tell yet. Let's zoom in. The color looks good. This is my issue. This is my issue right here. You see how this is all blurry? And this is not blurry? And this is blurry? And this is blurry? Okay, bring it over to the logo. Can you guys tell? In real life, it looks so much worse. Blurry. 
blurry, clear, 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 blurry. That's a huge telltale sign to me of a fake map. Um, the other big thing is lining them up and you can tell, hold on, I'm gonna go ahead and take the United States one out because this one was told to be from overseas. Uh, that's where he received it. Um, and, and originally I said, well, maybe they just had a different production company overseas, right? So that's why I traded for this other one. But here you can see, again, I'm going to be really careful. I'm going to make sure it's all the way on the edge. And there's like a... You can see over here. It's hard to show you on camera. You see this? There's like a good half inch gap. I mean, I can pull it a little, a, a tie more. It's just a, a little bit not the same. Um, it, it's just a little, a little bit shorter. Uh, and then the other thing we did, right? Um, is I took one of these little calibrator things and I measure certain things. So right here is eyeball to eyeball on the potentially fake mat. And then we bring it eyeball to eyeball over here and it's a little bit off. It's just a little smaller. It's just, oh, let me show you that, let me show you again. It's just a little smaller. Um, and that's an issue. Like. The, the match should be the same. The artwork should be the same. The, the print size should be the same. Now, the, the question is, um, were these from a different uh, printer? And that's where I hope, I wish the LSS. Okay, so, so right there, eyeball to eyeball. And then we bring it up here. Uh, that one's, see, it's just a little bit longer. See, it goes out of the eyeball. Um, so, and then, I mean, this is the US one that, that I know. Keep the same caliber. It's just a little, I don't know if you can tell on the camera. Just a little, a little bit higher. Uh, so that playmat's just a little bit smaller. And with that being said, um, you know, we, we saw similar stuff to the, 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 the um, to the, uh, to the, the spring tunic mat where this stuff was off and then like uh, the, the, the mat went through her mouth wrong and then this had like a shadow. And so there's just a few things that would, like if I, I'm not necessarily saying that this is fake. So this is the one right here, right? But what I'm suggesting is two things. Um, we'll kind of wrap up this video. Number one, if you receive a mat that's like this, um, you, you need to figure out the, the, you need to trace it back to the original owner and find a trustworthy source that got it from direct LSS. Cause it could be very similar, very easily that uh, this print got a little bit messed up on this mat or, you know, that it was maybe cut short or uh, there's a million things that, that could be true. But when you see all these things, when you start to see the, the, the shakiness of the logos, that doesn't like, I don't, I own every, almost every play mat and none of my play mats have that. None of my play mats are blurry. Um, and, and so that's where I think it gets into this question of, uh, did LSS use different printers for different mats in different locations, which would be an understandable thing. Um, and if that's the case, then you need to be able to authenticate who you received your play mat from. You know, like these mats to me are very, very similar, almost identical the two that I got. They're, they're, they are identical. Uh, there's really no difference between them. Um, they, they are identical. Uh, but then you take this, and they're from two different locations, two different parts of the world. And then you take this one that's also from a, you know, a different part of the world, and it's different. It just it makes you wonder the question, uh, are there different printers, or is this a non-authentic mat? If I received this mat, I would probably do one of two things, and this was my suggestion uh, to the person who sent this in to me. Uh, I would do one of two things. I would either simply ask for a refund and return it and then find another mat from somewhere else and then not have to worry about it. Uh, or I would ask the, the seller of the mat to, to give me a, a trace back to LSS or uh, in the case of these, these in the United States, it's back to Channel Fireball, right? Because they send out all the play mats. 
So if you were able to say, yes, I bought this mat from Louis de George, uh, and, and then I could reach out to Louis and Louis says, yeah, here's my tracking number. I got it from, uh, from channel fireball. And, and if I trusted Louis, uh, to be able to say, yeah, he wouldn't have made a fake play mat, then this is authentic. And, uh, then it's just an issue. It's maybe it's a misprint. I don't know. Uh, but if you can't trace this back to the original owner who you believe in and trust, then I think you got to say that these are not authentic. That it's also just a little bit thinner too. Like that's the other thing, but that's the, that's where I didn't want to get into because it's like, what if it's just a different print company? I don't think that LSS would be okay with the quality here uh, and calling that, oh, it's just a different print company and now you have blurry um, play mats. So anyway, that's uh, my little play mat video. I do think play mats are investable. I do think there's enough here to kind of find some some fake ones if anyone's worried about that. I, I don't think that, um, you know, these these play mats, like, um, let's use the demonstrator room. Like, they are so high quality printed. Um, it, it's next to impossible to print without the actual source file of the artwork. Um, and, and that's going to be the, the key here. And then I think you'll start seeing um, other companies refusing to print the Flesh and Blood logo on them. Uh, as flesh and blood gets bigger. Um, and so I do think that like the artwork, it's just like, it's so crisp and clear in these, in the official ones that it's just so easy to tell, uh, when things are fake, even like my kitchen table TCG one, right? Like this, this is one that I had the artwork done and it's high quality artwork. Um, and like, it's not as crisp and clear as the official LSS one. So if you were to take a bootleg copy of this photo and have it printed, even, you know, you wouldn't be able, this one's printed, mine is printed at 300 uh, DPI dots per inch, I think it is, uh, which is super high. I'm guessing that these are also th printed at 300 DPI. And if you don't have the original file, there's no way to get the kind of high quality look that these play mats provide. Anyway, that's my little soapbox on play mats. Uh, I love play mats. I think that they, uh, I would not call them investable in terms of like, would you rather have a box of Monarch or a Playmat? But they, if they're not investable, they are certainly collectible. Uh, and that's what I love about them. Uh, it doesn't have to just be an investment. It can be a collection and you can have a, a little Pokemon thing where you're trying to collect them all. So hope you all have a good day. Remember to be kind to the people around you and uh, let me know what you think about the Playmats.